I've been shopping for snow tires and uh, I got caught napping at the tree. This is what happens when you're still shopping for snow tires and um, you forget to get them. <laughs> so, ever wonder how a, a Pro Charge Jeep handles with Lionheart LH5s? Stay tuned, we're gonna find out. What's up people? As you can see from the opening sequence of this video, I got caught napping on ordering some snow tires. So today my Pro Charger update is also a Pro Charger update in 30 degree temperatures slash how well do the LH5 Lionhearts handle in all this snow and ice. Uh, to be honest with you, I can't see much of a difference from the uh, Parada Special X's that I had. Uh, the Lionhearts are a performance radial. They're in a size 305, 35ZR22. Um, they're rated for 169 miles per hour, which I'll never go in this vehicle. But they're definitely not snow tires. And, and you can tell. Um, I don't recommend these tires for winter driving. Um, I got caught napping, and I have to deal with it because I have to get to work. So this is like reminding me of the late 80s early 90s when we would just drive with crappy tires all year round rear wheel drive and slip and slide you know um, which brings me to, to another point why is it that the first snowfall every year with a few inches of this white death everyone freaks out everyone's like oh my god there's snow and then they forget how to drive from last year when we had a couple of blizzards by the end of the winter season people are already driving pretty comfortably you know they know how to handle it but it's just like the start the very first snowfall everyone freaks out stuff like that's happening all around me I'm trying to have an update and I'm having some GoPro issues for some reason um, I've had to unplug it and restart it a few times I might have I might have to reformat this card and lose all the footage um, so it's just one of those things where you know you got I got caught napping at the tree so to speak and I forgot to order my tires I really didn't think we'd have a uh, snowstorm this early in November it has happened don't get me wrong living in the Northeast it has happened but the weather people a couple days ago said it was going to be a little dusting thanks for that a little dusting turned into a few inches and it's not gone yet they said it was gonna be gone by now but it's not <laughs> it's a significant amount of snow for our first snowfall of the year so let's talk about the tires I mean they if you're stuck with them as long as you're slow going I haven't had any issues of getting through any snow and when I pulled out of my parking spot and I was on my street which wasn't plowed and it's you know it's a little bit and those of you in Canada you know Alaska you know, New England area who are gonna be like, it's not snow, save it. We get blizzards every year here, okay? So I don't wanna hear of your, your pompous attitudes of, ah, you don't know what snow is. Yeah, we do, we get it a lot. Uh, we have four seasons here. Sometimes two of them are like that. And then summer with 110 plus degrees goes for a long period of time for some reason. And then all of a sudden, bam, one day it's snowing. Fall and spring are just names that we use for a few days, <laughs> but it's mostly summer and winter around here. Last year we had a few blizzards, some very deep ones, uh, a lot of snow, and um, I, I did all right with the Jeep and the, with the Parada Special X's. This is my first year, the first snowfall ever, and getting caught using these tires. I didn't intend to have that happen, it just did, so. And as you can see, you know, I cleaned the Jeep off, the snow has already reaccumulated on the top. Uh, it, it's not coming down as hard as it was earlier, thankfully. So if you have any questions for me about the Lionhearts, shoot me a message below and I'll respond to you. Um, I love these tires for performance tire. Uh, one, the price point kills it, okay? You've got these nitwits who run around the forums with their little Jeep monikers and 
you know, per, they're sucking on the Pirelli pole. Pirelli's, uh, um, and they don't want to hear anything else. Pirelli suck. Uh, the run flats. Let's be clarified. The run flats suck. But when you compare the Pirelli three uh, tire for the 22 inch rim and the Lionheart, there's no comparison. I don't want to hear about I get better grip and I get better stick. Get out of here. Knock it off. Okay. You're, you're just paying more money because you're stupid. That's it. I'm sorry. And if that hurts your feelings, here's a cool little graphic to remind you of what I do here. Okay. And if you need a teddy bear or a lollipop, let me know. I'll mail you a lollipop. Uh, HR um, frowns upon giving out physical hugs anymore. So you sensitive people out there are just going to have to let a tear drop and move on with your life. I don't know what to tell you, but don't overspend so much money. $500 for a tire when there are performance tires, a fraction of the cost that perform just as well, if not better, especially if you follow a lot of uh, places that have done actual testing, not just Joe over on the forum. I use Joe generically. Um, I have a couple friends named Joe, I'm not singling any of them out. Uh, let's just say Scott on the forum says this is what you have to use. No, no, just because somebody's been around the community for a while, they're still idiots, plain and simple. So that's all I got for you guys and girls today. This Pro Charger update is pretty short and sweet. You guys and girls, be safe out there. That's all I got for you. I'm out.